and welcome to Talk A Good Game, and tonight is the preview of West Ham United against West Brom, live on Sky this Sunday with a, a, an unusual 5 past 2 kickoff. so cheers to Sky for that one. If you're here from the westhamway.co.uk, hello and thank you for joining us, and remember and hit the subscribe button. I'm joined by two other people as well known on hammerschat.com. Tom, you were here for the Tottenham review, you're back, have you calmed down a bit? Yeah, I've calmed down a bit now, yeah. Keep that sweet into yourself tonight. Thank you very much. And someone that we haven't seen for months because he's been away doing charity work in Brazil. I'm delighted to say, well, happy returns, Scott. Good to be back. Thank you for inviting me on. I don't be daft. But anyway, tonight we're going to be talking about the West Brom game. So let's start with our opponents, West Brom. Tom, what's your opinion on West Brom? Um, yeah, they've they've done all right, haven't they? Nothing fantastic. I think like the mid-table team, but the only thing obviously is a Pulis team, isn't it? The only thing I get from a Pulis team is uh, dirty challenges and a few injuries, so I expect them the weekend, to be honest. Scott, have you got the same opinion as Tom on uh, West Brom? Very similar. They're, they're going to be well drilled, aren't they? They're very defensive-minded, so they're not going to give us too much, are they? Yeah, I think they're going to cause us to struggle a lot. We'll touch on our tactics in a minute. Um, I think Bilic is going to need to do something because Tony Pulis will know exactly how we play by now. And what's this game week 14? Is it? I'm still yet to see a plan B from Bilic really. Um, and Tony Pulis is going to have us work to a T by now. He's going to see what Tottenham have done to us. I'd be very surprised if they've got any intention of crossing the halfway line either. I think they'll just sit back and let us ask the questions. And I don't know if we've got the answers to be honest with you. Um, Tom, are you expecting some massive changes? Obviously, Mark Noble suspended. Scott yep. Styles. Um <laughs> but in the back four, are you wanting to see changes in the back four? Um, yeah, I think it's time uh, Ogbonna comes in. Obviously, he paid all that money for him, you know, and he's meant to, he, he's a world class defender. Ogbonna come in, and I think that means maybe Jenkinson drops out and put Tom, Tomkins at right back. That's my own personal stance. Yeah, back four wise, I, I, you got you got to put a bonger in. Yeah, um, Scott, what about you for the back four? Are you Jenks is in a Tompkins right back? I think most would agree to see Ogbonna back in at the centre back. We've conceded four, you've got to change something. Um, what would you do at the right back? On the on the forum, I'm sorry, I'm looking at it now. On the forum, I put down Tompkins. Uh, but I always say, I've said it in previous in previous uh, tags, uh, our back four needs protection from midfield. If midfield goes adrift, they are so vulnerable and they proved it against Tottenham. We're talking about the midfield. What would you do in midfield then, Scott? Because obviously you're going to have one change that's forced. So what are you going to do? Well, that change wouldn't be forced if I were managing. Uh, but he's out now. So we need we need Song in. Uh, we, need to, we need to shore it up. We need a bit of graft in there. Whoever's in midfield needs to graft. Uh, because they're going to be strong in midfield. Uh, we lost it in midfield against Tottenham. And it, and it, it was so annoying to see... Uh, just people's heads going down and it was just a disarray. We need an organised midfield that's going to put a shift in. Um, Tom, up front, obviously on Sunday there we had Carroll up front with Sacco in the wing. It's not worked. What, what, would you, what are you hoping Bilic does different this Sunday? Well, up front, up front, Red, <laughs> well, now, I mean, you've got three options, haven't you? You've got Carroll, you've got Jadovic and you've got... Um... Obviously, Sacco, you know, so we've got to go one up front, haven't we? Put five in midfield, uh, get uh, obviously the old four, five, one, because obviously, and for me, put Carroll on the bench, or if he's going to put Carroll on, he's got to go four, four, two. He, he, can't, he can't play Sacco on the win again and put Carroll at top. He just, he just can't do it. Scott, our captain is out, obviously, so who would you give the captain's iron bag to? Because for me, on Sunday, we were missing a lot of fight on the pitch. There was nothing. There was, no one cared for my liking, and it was worrying to see. So we need someone that's going to rile the players up. Kevin Nolan did it. Mark Noble, I don't think, can do it. Um, who would you like to see the captain's armband to? Uh, Reid. Yeah, I'd have given it him at the beginning of the season. Uh, I think he's a leader. Uh, and I, think he, you know, I think he cares about things, and I think he's in that right position to be able to look forward and start to organise people. And Tom, are you confident, Tom, for Sunday? Are you confident? Uh, I want to be, but <laughs> I just, I mean, this is, I mean, now, was he 1.9, the last three, you know, this is, 
this is where Bilic has got to earn his tack, hasn't he? Really, you know, as uh, he's, he's got to earn his money now. You know, we, we, I think the fans are going to be expecting a win, and you know, if if we do or lose or maybe have a bad draw, you know, fans could start to turn him, couldn't they? I mean, I, I won't personally, but you know, it's it's the cutthroat nature of the Premier League, isn't it? Yeah, well. Man you away next up as well. It's not going to be any easier for him after this one if he doesn't nail it on Sunday. Scott, you didn't look very confident there when I asked Tom. Are you a bit worried about Sunday? I think, yeah, I think uh, West Brom are a decent side. I, I, you know, it's not one of them. I, I, you know, I like watching Arsenal and people like that. Uh, it's not one of them kind of sides. But he, he purely puts a solid side together, and you know what you're going to get. And the way that we're turning up, we turn up and we play teams off the park or we just don't turn up at all. There's nothing in between with us. So it's fingers crossed that we turn up for this one. Yeah, I'm worried. I'm very worried, actually. We've only won one in our last five against West Brom in all competitions, and that's without Tony Poulos being there. Um, the referee, however, is Martin Atkinson. My favourite referee in the league. He usually actually gives us the rub of the green, but one thing Martin Atkinson does allow is a physical game. He will allow Andy Carroll to slam into defenders. However, we're playing the team that, don't, as Thomas said, that do like to play dirty. So he will allow West Brom to turn up and have their physical game. That worries me a wee bit. Um, I think we're going to choke. I'm not that confident for Sunday at all. And I, I, I worry for Billet as to what the reaction of the crowd is going to be if we are struggling against West Brom. Um, people have said it on the forum on hammerschat.com that if we played like we did against Tottenham under Allardyce, there would be mayhem. There was just there was a disappointing performance to see. Anyway, Tom, they have lost their last three, three of their last four on the road. They've lost without conceding. Give us your prediction. It's, it's going to be very as as Scott and I says. It's going to be a very very tight game. It's not going to be a high scorer, and I just hope that we edge it one nil. Scott, where, where are you going for? Uh, Chris isn't here. Chris is <laughs> got problems tonight. He's never had any rights, so come on, Scott. You're in his place. You can beat him. Give us your... <laughs> I've nothing to play against, have I? Um, gee whiz. I, 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 I never back us to, to lose, so I always say that we'll win. 2-1. Uh, two, two, but that's only if we get the crosses in. I don't want to see people getting down the side pretending to cross and hinting that they may cross. I want them crosses getting in uh, and I want Sacco to be getting on the end of them. So 2-1. Yeah, that's what I wouldn't see as well. I think we're just going to have to accept that we're going to have to play a little bit ugly against West Brom and put the crosses in the box. Yeah. But there's nothing to stop you playing the nice pretty football to get into the final third. But once you're in the final third, get that ball swung in to, for me, Carroll and Sacco and just put their centre-backs under pressure. If their centre-backs win it, we've got plenty of bodies out. We'll have Lanzini's song check sitting outside the box waiting to mop up you know in terms of getting them getting a second ball I don't know if we've had a better midfield to do that in a long time at West Ham um, but Red, I, think, I think we need to play right what's that would you like to see Antonio the weekend do you think it's time that we give him a fair crack of the whip time everyone to see what he's made of I'd, I'd like to know what's going on with Antonio first um, whether he gets a crack of the whip or not is one thing but if he's not going to crack the whip I would like to know why. Bilic was just honest and said he's not fit enough yet. He's not ready for the Premier League yet. He'd almost understand a wee bit. He'd have answers. But it's the fact that he's sitting on the bench every week. Um, um, Ryan from West Ham Fan TV made a good point. Why is he on the bench if he's not coming on? It's a waste of a space on the bench. He's also got zero intention of bringing him on. Otherwise, when you're 3-0 down away to Tottenham, you would put him on just to get game time, just to see what he's got. But he didn't. He put Jelovic on, who Bilic knows... But, you know, like he's his best mate. There's no point putting Jelovic on. We're not going to learn anything. Um, but give Antonio a go. I assume, Tom, that you're wanting to see Antonio, are you? Yeah, I want to see Antonio. I think uh, Moses obviously playing hot and cold. Uh, yes, yeah, so I want to see Antonio on the left, Lanzi on the right. As you said, 4-4-2. But, um, but Song and Kute in the middle. Maybe Obiang. But, yeah, and Carroll and Sarko up front. Yeah, well, one thing I will say, though, is if we win... This weekend, if you took well, Scott, I'll put it to you, if you got offered last weekend a draw against Tottenham and a, a draw against West Brom, would you have took it? Definitely. So that's two points. If we win this weekend, yeah. a point more than you would have got 
and yeah. um, those two draws. I would have took the two draws as well. So yeah. when I'll say, well done, we've got the three points from the two games. I would have took two. So happy days. We're still sitting six. Still wants to be paused about. Scott, thank you very much for joining us. Thanks very much. Tom, thank you as well. No problem. Log on to hammerschat.com and thewesthamway.co.uk and hit the subscribe button as well. I've been Geo. Thank you and good night. <laughs>